Welcome. In this video, we're going to do an unboxing and component overview of God of War, the card game published by Simon. So down at the table, this was on sale at Miniature Market, so I decided to pick it up. I have not played the game, but this is officially licensed from PlayStation. For one to four players, ages 14 and up. So God of War, the card game, is a cooperative game for one to four players in which they control characters from the video game as they move through scenes made up of multiple cards, each with a unique challenge they must overcome. Use the action card to enhance your decks with upgrades to unleash powers against foes, win and survive Ragnarok, lose and witness a path that leads to destruction. So let's go ahead and take a look inside at our components. We've got our rule book right on top. 16 pages. On the back we've got a good summary going over the phases and the icons for reference. Inside, table of contents, picture of the components, nice diagram on setup, and the basics of how to play your scenes. Good illustrations going over the different phases. So pretty short rule book, looks easy to read. And we've got some punch board with their health tokens and other such tokens. So typical thickness for our punch boards comes out rather easily. And we've got some few more tokens and our standees of each of the characters. Then we have what looks like to be our hero dashboards. So hopefully I can get these names correct. We've got Mimir. Brock and Sindri, Atreus, Freya, and Kratos. Each of those is going to have a special ability, their health, and then a rage ability they can get off. So there's Mimir and then Brooke and Sindri with their combined health. And then Atreus, seven health. And Freya with their old magic. And Kratos with some Spartan Rage. And on the back for solo mode. So, see how those change. Freya's solo mode. Nope, not available on solo. Atreus is available. Brock and Sindri. Not available in solo mode. And Mimir is available in solo mode. Plastic off the top of this, maybe. Like we've got a specialized defense die. Zero, one, fives, and twos on that. Some standees that we can use for each of our characters. Go ahead and punch one of those out. And just quickly put him in there. And then a bunch of stacks of cards. And then these must be our scenario packs. So here's everything punched out. We'll start by taking a look at our status card. So here we've got a bunch of stun cards. Uh, poisoned cards, and then shattered crystal cards. And for the game, we have double-sided quest cards, so going from one through six. So we've got winning conditions, and then there's some uh, hindrances on the back if we don't choose those. We've got the Grindles of Ash and Frost, the Ogre, Helheim, Alfheim, and I'm sure I'm going to pronounce some of these, and the Stone Ancient. And then some final bosses. Take a look at the first one that I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce. Magni and Modi. Baldur's Forgiveness. And the Valkyrie Queen. Then upgrade cards and our starters for each of the characters. 
And most cards are pretty much going to let us know if we're doing a melee attack or a ranged attack and or modifiers to those attacks. So real quick looking through Kratos's cards and his options. Then Atreus. And all of these are 14 card starter decks. Got some defensive in there. And then Freya and her different starter cards and abilities. Mamir, he's got a bunch of ability cards, a few defense and a couple modifiers. And Brock and Sindri. Quick look at their starting cards. And then we have a large stack of upgrades. So I'll take half of them to start with. So basically up here, after we have our turn, we're gonna flip over and that's gonna determine which monster in the scenario attacks. And of course, when we have the card, what it's gonna do for us. So a bunch of attack modifiers, ranged, defense, then just bigger modifiers for whatever we're doing. And then we've got options with the or. So make it attack or get the modifier. Then the rest of those, defense or a modifier. Then just assisting, drawing some cards. Big modifiers. Got some healing in here, which I'm sure is going to be needed. Modifying allies attacks. Nice wild cards, do whatever we want. Nice big modifiers. So somewhat of a deck building game. And then our scene cards. So we've got scene one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So the scenario cards are kind of neat. There's going to be eight of those and they're going to form basically a big picture here. Each of them are going to let you know where they go to form that picture. So up here, it's letting us know this is going to be top left. That's going to be beside it then further over and then far right and then the rows underneath of it so go ahead and lay those out real quick and then the ones underneath so it forms a picture and this is going to be our battle letting us know where the monsters are we're fighting and other items and as we progress through some things are going to flip cards over so you kind of see what is going to be on the other side. And this might be some spoiler read, so just don't look too close and you're not going to see. Just think it's neat the way they do this with the artwork. So that's the first scenario. And then the second one has a few more cards in that one. So that forms the top row. And then the bottom row, forming our picture, and flipping all these over. Then our third scenario, just four across. And flipping over. Fourth scenario. And flipping over. Fifth scenario. And flipping over. And 
Our sixth scenario. And flipping. Seventh scenario, Versine. And other side. Scene eight. And flipping over. Scene nine has a A and a B. So starting with the A, it doesn't look like that gets a lower level on the A side. And then B. And flipping over. And then 10, probably have to read up on how that one goes. It's got some multiple things going on. So that forms one picture, or it looks like we can bring in some additional cards to change things out. Looks like they just go in the center. So the last batch I just put in, we'll flip those and take them out. And then the lower level. So that is everything in the God of War card game. As always, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.